Hi, everyone. Can we uh, start off the Discovery Awards session? Thank you. Uh, so while our panelists are settling in, I'd like to int introduce myself. My name is Sumita, and I'm from Zero Project. So I'd like to say thank you to all the panelists uh, taking the time to join us today. We are a little bit behind time, so please do stick with your speaking points. And now I will hand it off to our key partners, uh, the Enable India team with Sayum Dev. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So it has been my absolute honor and absolute pleasure to be here and take you through the story of Discovery Awards just to start with. I'm Sandeep Mukherjee. I'm a person with severe disability. I use more than 28 solutions per day, but you won't understand if I tell that I use more than 28 solutions per day. What are solutions? Assistive solutions are those which helps a person with disabilities to lead a life of dignity and honor. Technology may not be the answer to everything, and therefore, we need to identify solutions from the lives of persons with disabilities. So, three, uh, three years back, during the COVID, we came up with this idea in Enable India that let's do something new. So in that way, we started with Project Discovery. Project Discovery is the mother of Discovery Awards, which is a competition form to collect assistive solutions from the grassroots to recognize the grassroots innovators. The whole intention was that people with disability and the stakeholders have lots of solutions in their daily life. And to take those solutions out, bring to the public so that some other people, some other part of the world can use those for their benefit was the main intent. And this particular award became an icon in Indian perspective. Then, to start with, we didn't even know that whether this would be a success or a failure. We thought that whatever emerges out of it, we will take that forward. And journey of emergence has brought us together today in this platform. Therefore, we came to Zero Project last year, and Zero Project had this wonderful thing. We came and announced that this year we are going to have Discovery Awards. Thereafter, the journey began Zero Project took this award to a next level, giving this platform to grassroots innovators can come in and get the, receive the award, share their journey, and move to the next level and do networking. So I thank Michael, to be very specific, Michael Fembach, that he actually did this in two minutes while talking to us all the partners. I would like to thank all the partners, Enable Me, Open Inclusion, Billion Strong, and one very important partner which is not present here is Google. Call for action is that just connect. If you think that this particular movement is appealing, because all of you have some solutions to share to the world. And this way, a common place would be created where people with disabilities would be, get recognized for their daily life of coming out with new innovative solutions. And if you want to participate in this program, just go to www.discoveryawards.org 
and become a part of this. And the main message that we want to give across is everyone is an innovator because every person with disability and the stakeholders is an innovator and every person that is related to a person with disabilities you know, is an innovator and that eventually helps us to the move to the narrative of nothing about us without us. So thank you. Now I would like to call on the awards. Now I would like to request Mr. Dipesh Sutaria to give the first discovery awards to Anne and Jeshdorf from Germany. And she has innovated a new way to understand the amount of medicine or any liquid to be taken in a specific manner. And that is very important. And she has used a simple 3D model to, and a printer, 3D printer, to make a small bit of device. And th with that, she has won the first Discovery Awards. I would like to call Mr. Dipesh Sutaria, the chairman and the managing director of Enable India, to hand over the award to Anne Jeshdorf. This opens a new journey, this opens a new way, this opens a new path for people with disabilities coming out with new assistive solutions to get recognition in their own way, in their broader way. Thank you, Dipesh. Thank you, Anne. And it's a wonderful opportunity for us to put the award together and put it to the key participant. Now, I would like to move on to the second award, which goes to the person named as Kamal Kanta Nayak from India. Unfortunately, Kamal Kanta could not be present here today. On behalf of Kamal Kanta, the executive director of Enable India would receive the award, but before that, I will just introduce you to Kamal Kanta by the means of a small video. I would like to request the technical team to run the small video of 20 seconds, so can, you, can, you can get introduced to Kamal Kanta Nayak, who is second Discovery Awards winner from India. Discovery Awards in collaboration with Enable India and Zero Project. Kamal Kanta, a person with spinal cord injury from rural India, demonstrate his solution for assistance in farming chores. Here, we see him fastening a wooden plank to the footrest of his wheelchair. He can carry things around like a bucket filled with water, fertilizer sprayer to spray fertilizers, or a bunch of bananas freshly picked from his farm. Everyone is an innovator. I would like to request Sumita to hand over Kamal Kanta's award, because without the support of Zero Project, Discovery Award won't have been possible. And Sumita, please hand over the award to Moses for Kamal Kanta. Thank you so much for that, Dan. Um, I'd just like to say that Kamal Kanta sh couldn't be here because of health issues, so I'm handing it over to Moses on behalf of him. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you so much for that, Dan. Thank you, Sumita. Thank you, Zero Project. And now I would like to go to my other colleagues, and especially I would like to go to Anne. Anne, can I hand over the microphone to you and request you to tell a few awards, a few words about how your feeling is getting this first Discovery Awards. Hello, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, so. um, thanks for the award and thanks to be here. Um, I feel very, yeah, fearful or I don't know, um, because it's a big thing that people with disabilities um, yeah, developed her own thing. And I think it's really important that people with disabilities do that because there are so many companies in the world and they all want to help people with disabilities. But we need the empowerment and the ideas of people with disabilities to do such things. Um, we saw it yesterday, he has so many startups with ideas, but where are the people with disabilities on this stage who talked about products and ideas? Um, and I'm from the organization Social Hero in Germany, and we do such products, and we have a lot of ideas, but we all have to listen to people with disabilities and the communities. Um, and there are so many ideas and so many small things we can do, but we often see that there are products, yeah, there are small things that doesn't work well for people with disabilities because persons without disabilities develop the things and try the things and safety and security uh, is yeah, important than the functional things for persons with disabilities. So we always have the perspective of caregivers or um, other people around people with disabilities but we don't listen to people with disabilities. And we have so much opportunities, for example, on the World Wide Web, but also with Wide Read, Rukas, um, small thing, like the wooden thing we have seen. Um, so we have to be heard and we have to be loud. And that's why it's really important that people with disabilities yeah, get into the big world with his ideas and earn fame and earn money. Um, but they're only, not only products. I think we need to have more ideas. We have to more ideas about the institutionalization. We have to more and we need more ideas about an inclusive labor market. Um, and I would say not nothing about us without us. I would say nothing without us. Yeah, so. Thank you, and now I would like to request um, our partner from Enable Me, Matthias Benjamin, to just have a few words on community, online community development and grassroots solutions. How important are these two things to be linked up? Yeah, thank you very much, Dan. It's such a privilege to be a partner of the Discovery Awards. And this is unique. Eh? Um, we have had the Zero Project Awards for, I think, 10 years. But these awards are focusing on organizations, usually with uh, resources, uh, with uh, a, a team, with staff members. But these awards are, from, are for people from grassroots level. 
Uh, many of the solutions are gathered from the rural areas in India and now also in other countries. And this is unique, and I think this is also like the next step that we are taking. It's not about having a conference here uh, with leaders of organizations, but now it's about bringing people from grassroots level together. Uh, so we have a call to action uh, to you. We uh, also want to gather solutions from Africa, from Latin America, and from other countries all over the world. So uh, you, uh, as a, um, yeah, if you're coming from another country, we invite you to participate in this, uh, uh, in, the, in this project and also uh, help us to gather solutions. And there are already hundreds of solutions on the YouTube channel that is uh, set up by Enable India. So you can sh help us to share those solutions with the people that need them. And then lastly, we are uh, developing a community where peers can meet each other. They, people can ask questions and others with more experience, with lived experience, can help them to find the answers and find the solutions. So together we will build up these uh, grassroots solutions. So you are invited to uh, participate in this. Thank you. Thank you, Matthias. Thank you, Matthias, for your encouragement and opportunity. Now I would like to request our very important partner who has done uh, Discovery Awards in six countries, six English-speaking countries, open inclusion. And I would like to request uh, Josh and Christine to share their thoughts on this particular award. Thank you, Dan. Um, I'd just like to say a big thank you uh, on behalf of us at Open Inclusion to the ESSEL Foundation and the Platform of Zero Project Conference and Enable India for inviting us to partner on this really exciting program. Uh, you will see from what you've heard so far that we have the power through the awards to connect communities. We also have the power to use these videos to go back into the, uh, the settings of uh, employment and education and use the videos as tools to help uh, improve awareness of communities and JUGAD innovation. We like to call ourselves creative renegades, I think. We see that um, people with disabilities particularly have to adapt all the time and naturally we become innovators. And so this is becoming a really important platform to just show what frugal, low-cost innovation is and the impact that it can have. And by creating a community for and by and with the community, you can see the power that we're going to be creating. So we ran our awards across six countries and we had wonderful sponsors that also helped us put together the awards. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to the three of those. That was Eli Lilly, AMV BBDO and Fiverr. So without that support as well, we would not necessarily be able to run at the scale that we've been running. The process was particularly uh, interesting and one of the things I'd like to highlight was the judging process where we used judges from organizations, from individual settings that have experience and expertise also in the accessibility field, but also with disabilities as well. So we made sure that the whole process of how we ran the awards across our six countries was completely inclusive, transparent and representative of the disability community as well. And I'd just like to touch base on one or two solutions that we had received in the awards, just to kind of highlight the diversity. So we had a one awardee that had mental health, and he particularly used plants as a way of informing his support network around him whether or not he was going into a crisis mode. And the idea that if the plants were deteriorating in health, it meant that his mental health was deteriorating. So people would use plants as a way of evidencing that he was deteriorating at that particular point. And one final thing from us that we also had was a, a wonderful lady in the UK that used hairbands. She had a visual impairment and she used hairbands to identify the difference between shampoo and conditioner or between her toothbrush and her partner's toothbrush. So again, really, really simple ideas that can have a big, big impact when shared with the community. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Josh, Christine. I would like to request uh, Debra just to uh, touch up on the partnership that Million Strong is bringing uh, with Discovery Awards just for two minutes. Okay, I can't even introduce myself in two minutes, but <clears throat> very proud to be here. Very, very proud to be part of the Discovery Awards. I think what we really need to understand about what's happening here is we're trying to understand our community around the world and it's shifting and changing and every, you know, it's developing, developed, but the reality, even in developing countries, we see that people with disabilities are living way below the poverty level. Uh, I'm from the United States and we're one example of that. But I think what's so powerful about the Discovery Awards is that we are learning from the people. People are adaptable and they know how to adapt and to make sure that they're included. And so what can we learn from some of these powerful stories? For example, when Dim first asked us to be part of this, they gave us an example of, uh, I think, a, a man in India that could not write. He could not hold the, I'm holding my hand up to, exp to show it, but he couldn't hold a pen or pencil. So they took a potato and they put a pen through it and he started learning to write. And then as his hand got stronger, the potatoes became smaller till there were no potatoes, which by the way is a brilliant idea. So I think what we all have to do in the first place is please can we stop competing with each other? There is so much work for us all. We need to act like good partners. We need to recognize the people that are really making a difference like Enable India. I am so blessed with the work that Enable India has done because it's supporting my family, like my daughter with Down syndrome of 36 years. So please can we stop competing with each other and we support each other. But also, if you're representing a company, uh, I mean, uh, excuse me, a country, please join the Discovery Awards because we need to hear from all of the people with disabilities and we need to keep reminding you that 80, 75 to 80% of people with disabilities have invisible or hidden disabilities, which is why we started Billion Strong, to have identity with pride. So I just am very blessed to be part of this and I would absolutely recommend you all join it Special thanks to Zero Project for their continuing global leadership, but we cannot do this without each other, and we also have to be very careful not to step on each other. So Enable India has done this wonderful thing, but we all come together and we all support each other. So thank you for including me. Thank you, thank you very much. Now uh, we are running short of time, I know that. Uh, I would just like to request Moses to give the vote of thanks so that we can conclude the first Discovery Awards in Zero Project. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Um, I know I have a difficult task because I had to just complete in 20 seconds, but it's very easy because whatever I'm going to say is from my heart. Uh, I'm Moses from India. I'm a person with vision impairment. Um, I just wanted to first thank all the innovators on the ground for generously contributing solutions to this competition. May it be in India and other nine countries this year. Please join me in giving a round of applause to all the innovators from uh, you know ground level. Thank you. All the innovators. I know we have few people here, but thank you so much. And similarly, I think we have a lot of volunteers contributed. I know people who travel 70, 80 miles to get solutions. Um, thanks to all of them, today we are able, able to have 3,000 such solutions that are documented um, on your EI Labs uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the volunteers. And most importantly, partners like you know, people on the stage today, you have seen Enable Me, Methes has been contributing, ideating every single time. He's on the call to just make sure that we uh, know how to build the community. Thank you, Methes, and for Enable Me for walking along with us and taking us through the journey. Uh, similarly, Open Inclusion has been very kind, taking, you know, got, got us, uh, got the solutions from six countries. Uh, you know, Josh has to personally travel to many places. Uh, Christine has been actually thinking, always guiding us, telling us where we could improve, so thank you so much, uh, both of you. Uh, similarly, Deborah and, uh, you know, Billion Strong is actually taking us to 95 countries next year. I think join me in thanking them uh, as well. Uh, I think similarly, I think we would not have come here without uh, zero projects 
partnership and giving the plat global platform for um, grassroots innovators, uh, I think, you know, big round of applause to Zero Project for making this a global event. And it's my first experience here. I wanted to just take this opportunity to thank uh, and show my gratitude and love on behalf of Enable India family. Uh, wonderful conference, thank you, such a beautiful platform. Uh, once again, thank you so much, um, Zero Project. Uh, similarly, uh, you know, we would not have done this without uh, partners like Google. I know Google is not here today, but I think, um, um, you know, the Google representatives, uh, I think some of them may be uh, in the audience, uh, but. Uh, uh, but thank you so much for uh, being with us and taking this grassroots and go to the you know remote parts of uh, Indian villages and now we have become global. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Google. Uh, I also just wanted to thank people like Dan uh, who have taken it on his shoulders and really made this uh, global event. Thank you, Dan, for your perseverance. <laughs> Similarly, back home. In India, there's a huge number of team who assembled beautiful trophy. I don't know how many of you could see from there, but it has a, it's a concept of gears and levers. When you change the lever, all the gears come together. The idea is all of us work together as a collective. Thank you so much. And it's my honor and, uh, and privilege to be with all of you. Uh, in the end, I just wanted to say, I want to see Discovery Awards as the most Partic countries participated event. I think Olympics has the most countries participating in it. But one day, I want to see Discovery Awards have all the countries in the world participating in it. And that's the vision I want to leave all of you. If you want to join, just go to www.discoveryawards.org. Thank you so much. Thank you.